Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ruthie Patootie and I'm back after a long hiatus. Been gone for quite some time I know and I have YouTube in the back of my mind but as a lot of you know especially if you follow me on Instagram I recently just graduated from pharmacy school so now I am officially Dr. Ruth Aminu Famdi um, which is like it still blows my mind till today because it has been a long time coming so that is why I've been gone for so long I'm also making that transition from, you know, of being a graduate student slash kind of living at home with my parents to now moving to a whole different state and starting a new job. So this hiatus is not ending now. This is me just hopping in and saying, hey, how you doing? This is why I've been gone. Before you know it, guys, I will be back and I really, really want to get back into making more hair videos. But in the meantime, here I am sharing with you guys my favorites for the past couple months. Now before I actually get into the video, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, girl, how you do that? How did you get your hair to be like that? Well, it wasn't all me. I actually had my hair straightened um, for my graduation and the stylist that in my hair, her name is Lauren and I'll leave all her information down below, her Instagram handle. I actually found her on Instagram through um, a mutual friend. She is located in the Dayton slash Cincinnati, well the Dayton area. So if you're in the Dayton or Cincinnati area um, and you're interested in getting your hair done by her, her information is all below. She is a book honey. So if you are interested, make sure you contact her ASAP, okay? Um, she did a wonderful job straightening my hair. Now obviously my hair is not heat trained. I don't normally straighten it. This is not something I do frequently. Um, I blow dry my hair every once in a while so my hair uh, didn't really last that long as long as far as being straight. This is actually day four hair. So when I go to bed I put my hair in um, flexi rods and this is what happens. Speaking of using hot tools and blow dryers and flat irons and all that, the number one favorite thing that I would like to share with you all today is this bad boy right here. So this is the Revlon brush blow dryer. Um, got it for $39.99 I believe. So $40 for a blow dryer like this that is meant to cut your blow dry time in half. And I could say, as somebody that would use the brush and the blow dryer in one hand on this natural hair, mm -mm, honey, this definitely lives up to the expectation. You have a variety of settings here that you can use. You have the cool setting, low setting, high setting. This honestly is so convenient only using one object, not having to use both hands and using it through your hair, using whatever blow dry cream you have available to make the process even more easy. And I'll insert a couple clips here of my first time using this blow dryer. If you're not following me on Instagram, I suggest you do because during this little hiatus, I don't, I haven't disappeared from social media entirely. So if you want to keep up with the things that I've been doing, then feel free to follow me on Instagram. Next favorite of mine, y'all, I recently have been really into um, perfumes lately. That's like the one thing I do whenever I go into Dillard's or Nordstrom and I see like the perfume section I go and I sample out all those all those scents and stuff but this right here is one that I've already talked about in a previous favorites video of mine and if you guys don't recall I mentioned um, sampling this scent off of a website called Scentbird. Now Scentbird is a subscription service where you get to sample a 30-day supply of a favorite perfume of yours for about $15 a month. So I thought that that was a pretty good deal because, and like a lot of times those perfumes will last more than a month. So I thought it was a pretty good deal to get to sample different designer scents like, you know, Versace, you know, they got Coach, they got Gucci. So you can sample a very wide variety of perfumes before deciding, you know what, I'm gonna settle on a full bottle, which is what I did. I settled on this one. So Scentbird was actually very kind enough to send me a sample. I've already used their, their service before. So for them to reach out to me and ask me to mention their services to my subscribers was, it was a no-brainer because I already love their services. So just so you guys have an idea of what it looks like, this is what your 30-day supply comes with. It comes with a little spray in here that pops up. Here, let me show you. Oh, I know it can come out. Yeah. So this is the sample bottle that you get with one of these. 
um, and and this lasts you a month. Now the scent I have right now is Salvatore Ferragamo's Encanto Bloom. It's very airy, very springy, very floral, um, very girly. So, mm, mm -mm. I love the scent. So if you're interested in checking out the variety of different perfumes they have, I will leave a link below for you to check them out. So hope you guys enjoy their services because I know I did. And isn't this so cute? It's so cute. It's so cute. So now we're moving on to skincare. My skin is very oily, so I try to stay away from creams or lotions that have a lot of oil in them. I try to go for gels, but my skin is actually a combination. Some parts of it is dry. If I only go for a gel, then I don't get the full moisture that I really need. So I've come up with a solution. I use a serum that's very hydrating. Now the serum of choice that I've gone with is this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Multivitamin booster serum <laughs> that has hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant meaning it draws moisture um, into your skin, into your hair depending on wherever you're using it. So that's why I decided to go with this first serum because it will give me that moisture that I really need you know to quench that thirsty skin. I use this and then I follow with a moisturizer um, that isn't a cream, it isn't really a lotion but it's not entirely a gel either. What is it, might you ask? It is this Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sherbet or Sorbet. Um, it is a cream gel substance, so it's kind of a cream, but it's kind of a gel. And I actually got this as a sample from Sephora. Um, you know, how you get your points and you can use it on something. I got this from Sephora and I really, really liked it. I liked it so much that I went and got, oh, isn't this, I don't think this is the full size. This is 10 ml and this is 40 ml. So um, these two together after washing my face is, I told myself that whenever I did a favorites video, I did not just want to stick to beauty products. I wanted to talk about other things to introduce to you guys. So the first of these is this Luna bar. <laughs> yes, a granola bar, girl, a granola bar, okay? I do not like granola bars. Let's start there. I'm not really a huge fan of those Nature Valleys, all those other stuff. It's just, I don't know. There's something about granola bars that turns me off. But recently, I decided to give these a try. Going to work early in the morning, eating breakfast, and then having to wait all the way till, you know, noon or one for lunch. You need something to fill those gaps. And for breakfast, I normally only eat like a small cup of oatmeal with some fruit and maybe drink some juice or some coffee or tea or something and that doesn't really last me a long time that doesn't cover me for as long as it needs to so I was looking for a snack that can cover those in-between spots before lunchtime and I came across these and what I actually did is I sampled a bunch of different Luna bars half of them were nasty as heck okay I will say that but this one right here this one right here I ended up buying the whole box because it tastes so good it has protein in it so once I have this as a snack it covers me for a long time it has 8 grams of protein is gluten free non GMO and it's made with organic oats and so this is the white chocolate macadamia bar and you know white chocolate who can resist white chocolate no I'm kidding I feel like there's not much I need to say about this it's just a delicious granola bar now the last thing I want to introduce to you guys is more for the soul you know for your skin Spirit. If you need some uplifting, then I think you should check this out. So the church that I go to is Abundant Life International Church. They have a website, they have a podcast you can listen to if you're not able to make it to one of their locations. And I really love that about this church. If you have an iPhone, you can easily download or subscribe to their podcast. If you're driving, working out, whatever the case may be, you can listen to one of their very much so uplifting words. Um, one that I've been listening to lately is called Enlarger Coast, which I feel is very fitting for this time in my life. Enlarging your coast, spreading your wings, knowing that there's more to life than what the eye can see. Um, a lot of things are not just in the natural realm, but also in the spiritual, just opening your mind to a lot of different possibilities that you can have for your life, as long as you know you're, you're like this with God. You just gotta stay with it with God. And I encourage you all to check it out. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this little drop in from me. Just me saying, hey, how you doing? I'm doing mighty fine. That's how I say 
It's been a long time. Stop smiling and you got that look off your face. Please don't even stop. Just be your soul away. I will have another video dropping the following weekend showing you guys how I achieved this look and all. It should be funny. It should be fun. So stick around. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you next week. Deuces.